Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at the questions of what is mindfulness and what is awareness. This is a channel where you can learn the ins and outs of mindfulness practice, get tips and tricks on meditation, and regardless of your level, where you can meditate with me. So thanks for joining. I would love it if you could subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this topic. So what is mindfulness and what is awareness? I'm actually just gonna throw it back at you just for a minute or so, but um, you know, just take a second to think. Uh, if you say, I'm mindful of something, uh, I'm mindful of my breath, what's the difference between that and I'm aware of my breath or I'm aware of something around me or in my world? And the reason I like to look at this kind of thing is because uh, words like mindfulness, awareness, concentration, focus, well-being, um, a lot of these words are sort of getting thrown around increasingly. And uh, I think it's good, you know, that we, we might have a general sense, but also depending on uh, what we're looking at, that it can be very useful to have a, a more specific and a more precise definition. And lucky for us, a lot of the mindfulness traditions of the world, they have um, a whole sort of system, a whole rubric of, um, you know, definitions of guidelines and uh, that can be very useful, especially if we're um, starting a practice of meditation or maybe we're looking to deepen our understanding. Uh, so maybe you've come up with some things, uh, maybe not, but uh, I just wanted to tell you the difference uh, traditionally is mindfulness is when you put your focus onto something. So it's putting your attention uh, wholeheartedly onto one thing. And awareness, uh, in contrast to that, uh, but sort of related, is noticing when our mind has drifted away from that object of attention. So in our meditation, we see this in a sort of a constant uh, flow, which is we put our, uh, our mindfulness, our, our focus onto our breath, and eventually, uh, when we have uh, drifted away from the breath that we notice and we are aware that we've left the, the, the object of mindfulness. And you know, the interesting thing is that there's actually, there can be a bit of a gap between um, when we are focused on our breathing and then when we actually become aware that we're not focused on our breathing. And that's you know, the time that we're sort of spacing out, the time that we're uh, connecting to our thoughts um, instead of just detaching uh, from them and, and allowing them to sort of pass through. And the good news is that uh, both of these uh, skills, and they are sort of tools and they are skills that, that we're working on in our meditation practice, that they both do improve with time. So uh, our ability to stay on the object of our focus, uh, on our meditation object, our breathing in this case, um, it, it improves with time. And also, um, and kind of, to me kind of fascinating because it's like, how does, how does this happen? Um, but our ability to notice when we're uh, not focused on our breathing is also um, something that, that really can improve and, and can increase. Um, lucky for us because, you know, we don't want to be sort of spacing out through our whole meditation. Uh, and the last thing I'll say uh, is that this relates a lot to the practice of detaching from thoughts because um, it's basically giving a name and a more sort of precise label to uh, this process and to what sort of phase that we're in. Um, are we mindful? Are we, are we staying connected to our breathing? Are we following the in and out? Are we aware of the sensations in our body as we breathe? Uh, or um, did we drift away? And um, you know, what's, how long has it been since we drifted away? And most importantly, once we notice that and once become aware like, oh yeah, I'm thinking of X, Y, Z, that we just gently bring our mind back to that mindfulness. And <clears throat> there's uh, hopefully, you know, you can see that there's a kind of a, 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 an ebb and flow, uh, a gentleness, um, because we're, you know, we're also focusing on that in our practice on um, how we're guiding our mind and how we're uh, sort of talking to ourselves. You know, it's not a strict, it's not a punishment kind of thing of, you know, oh, I screwed up, uh, it's terrible. It's you know, hey, I'm here to practice and I'm here to improve this, um, this skill and just gently bringing your mind back. So that said, uh, let's go ahead and meditate for a couple minutes. So just go ahead and taking your posture. Uh, this is, if it's the first time you're meditating um, here on the channel, just sit in uh, whatever comfortable posture uh, you can find right now, preferably with your back straight as that, that's 
the most uh, important element. And just taking a moment to pause and just allow yourself uh, and your body to arrive here in this moment. And as you start to arrive and sort of sink into the here and the now, sinking into your body, inviting your body to relax, just gently bringing our attention to the breath. And just noticing the breath just as it is. Usually when we stop and focus on our breathing, it slows down, becomes more full, but that's not something that we're aiming for. We're just, just noticing, noticing your breath, noticing your body. And again, when the mind wanders to something else, to some thought, uh, maybe a worry of the future or a thought of the past, just seeing that as a moment of awareness and bringing yourself back to the breath. So we'll just take one more breath here. And that's it. Thank you for meditating with me. And I uh, just wanted to say if uh, you, know, you got something out of today's video, I would love it if you could subscribe or share with friends. Um, likes and comments are appreciated. And especially if you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below or feel free to message me on Instagram. Uh, I answer all questions and I'm really here to help and to guide you if you uh, could use that. So uh, thanks a lot and I will see you in the next video.